This is me diving 50 feet in a cave to see if I could find any hidden treasure. Instead, I found a warning sign telling me not to go any further. But first, I needed to get certified. So the first thing you guys want to do is head over to a certification website like Patty. This is a little expensive, it cost me $217, just so you guys know, but you have to pass the e-learning first. So I head to a local diving shop in Key Largo, where I took an exam and passed the first step. So, scuba diving, that's what we're doing. Next, I headed out to the first diving site, where I learned all the scuba diving basics. This includes how to set up your gear and how to properly use it to go up and down in the water. God, gosh, <laughs> dang it. Guys, I was trying to look cool and come out with this thing, but this is so tight, bro. It is so, uh. <laughs> Don't look at my ball, bro. <laughs> So after you adjust your balls, or lady balls, for ladies, the first thing you want to do is attach your tank to the BCD, and that's what we're doing right here. We're preparing our gear to actually go into the water, and the BCD is connected to the back of the tank. Once you connect the BCD to the tank, then you're going to want to go and put your regulator. Damn, look at my ass. It's not bad. Anyways, the regulator is put on, you want to put it a little bit soft, not too hard, because it's going to be a little easier to maneuver later and then you attach the hoses from the regulator to the BCD so you can breathe and do things better. Over here, we're receiving instructions from our instructor, Terry. By the way, you are amazing, Terry. We had so much fun with you. The guy just lives his life. What else can you ask for? One of the mistakes somebody made, I won't say who it is, is that we bought fins that were way too small. So if you do buy them from somewhere else, make sure they're long fins because these short fins are not good. Anyways, as we got into the water, you want to go ahead and put the BCD and the tank on first, then hopefully put your fins after, and then just drop to the water. This is the first exercise. We were just practicing actually taking the air out from the BCD and just heading down and sitting, getting comfortable going up and down. The first time we did this, such a cool experience, guys. You know, you're breathing on the freaking water. We ended up actually diving down 20 feet, and to my surprise, I made a new friend. His name is Little Red Lobster. After practicing that first day, we wrapped up the first day of training and then we headed straight to the ocean on day two. On day two, the ocean was much more beautiful than the place we were at. We started exploring some reefs. I felt like a character in a video game. We also ended up finding this memorial for a dead diver. Pretty cool. Afterwards, we kept diving, looking for different places. Like I said, this is just an amazing experience. If you ever have this chance, do it guys explore be something better and again look at this i'm in the f ocean scuba diving super super cool after we did this for about 20 30 minutes as part of the exercise we started heading it up i felt like crap at this point i felt dizzy my head hurt and the fish clearly knew this as you're about to see right now and so i was just trying to get onto the boat the funny thing is i ate fish tacos and here i am feeding those fish tacos back to the fish what a world. Uh, vomiting is always nice. All right guys, so we just finished up. As you saw, I vomited my god brains out, but we're alive, we made it back on land. I love you guys. I don't know what to call you guys, but if you comment, I will respond. Subscribe, mother Like, mother I am not monetized. I am not making a penny from this. And scuba diving equipment is expensive. Let's just, let's just put it there. The next day, after getting certified, we took a road trip and headed out to one of the most beautiful places to scuba dive in all the US. So today we're hitting up Devil's Den Springs, which is a very, very famous spring you can dive into. It's basically a cave that goes down up to 50 something feet. So me and George, I don't know what Lewis is doing here. Just letting you guys know, so don't ask. We'll be going down to that to that cave so we can show you some stuff. We already showed in the first part the certificate. Now is actually, you know, we actually dive in a cool place. Upon arriving, you're welcome with a beautiful walkway to the dive site. So after gearing up, here is uh, the, the part where we actually get to go inside this cave. The entrance itself, guys, it's a little intimidating because look at this. Look at this. This looks like you're entering another dimension, another world. And as you're about to see right now, that's exactly what it feels like, but in a good way. I mean, look at this. This is a freaking cave in the middle of nowhere. Look at the bush growing out of the cave. The water so blue. Gorgeous. And 
This was the first time I explored this cave, and I didn't know anything about it. We were trying to venture as deep as we could without having any issues, since this was only my second time diving. As you can see, there was caves under, and we were just trying to find if there was more animals inside. As we head down even deeper, I was very surprised when I found the sign warning us not to venture into the next cave. This was one of the cooler shots we got. You can see the light shine through even though we're 40 feet deep. As we finish this adventure, I want to leave you with this quote. Everyone wants to live on top of the mountain, but all the happiness and growth occurs while you're climbing it. So do your best, try every single day, and never, never, never feel like you haven't done enough. Thank you guys, love you guys, and see you on the next adventure.